purely cognitive based psychotherapy is not useless but i will try to remember that too much of it might just be changing the wallpaper on the iphone you get these revelations through psychotherapy and you look and you go oh, that's interesting and and then i'm always like and then what how did your life change after that for most people most of the time it doesn't it might be interesting to know how your mother wounded your ability to ask for what you want it might be interesting to know that because your father was a jealous narcissist he didn't want you to rate rise too high and all that. it's interesting to know to have that in your head but so what right right and i was talking to someone the other day who is who's really smart but a lot of the things that are said are just knowing and yeah. then and then what where's the action where's this in that sense is like a kid who's growing up and they find a toy and the toy is so cool and it's so amazing and it's so life-changing but it's not as life-changing as they think so we found an amazing ability to deconstruct reality to pull it apart and in that medicine innovation car engines planes flying machine guns made um and so we started to overstate the importance of cognition of of the cerebral mind mm -hmm. and we're living with the consequences of that we're living with this this weird when we're almost trying to be brains in a jar just floating like who's the best brain and it's good to have a good brain it's good to think clearly but it's not everything clearly it's not everything because yeah. we can all name very high iq intellectuals who are miserable and totally um, frustrated in their own ambitions, in their own lives. They're imprisoned in their own lives. So it's clearly not the, the answer to everything.